Here we are, this is Seven Tower Court in Chapel Town. Tower Court's actually a lovely little cul-de-sac. All the houses are built in uh, sort of mock stone and uh, nicely maintained and presented. I'll just spin it round. Now, interestingly, behind these houses is the uh, old Boltonians football pitch. I'll, I'll have a walk up there and um, show that to you, I think. So this is actually Tower Street, which is directly off of High Street, opposite the Chatham Arms down there. And this leads up into the uh, cul-de-sac. Now parking is not an issue in the cul-de-sac itself because there's extra parking areas here on the side. I want to show you this. There we go. Old bolts, football pitch, beautiful hills and scenery beyond. There you can see the uh, St Anne's Church. And there's actually a children's playground just around the corner as well. So quite important I think that you get the idea. I think there are probably 11 houses in the cul-de-sac. And there we go. Certainly we picked a nice day, haven't we? But the uh, lanterns, the whole area is actually a conservation area, round about. So this part here, number seven, Tower Court. So this is the driveway, the property. That's actually a carport, but uh, they've got a shed underneath it and uh, raw time gates. Up to yourself how you arrange that. So, going into the main house. As we come in, we're greeted by the stairs. Everything opens into um, well, the, the dining room here and the kitchen. But we'll, <coughs> we'll turn left and go into the lounge, which features a rather nice uh, arched window. And it's <coughs> actually quite a bright room because there's three windows, one on the corner here and two on the facing wall. The floor. Nice, uh, now you can see it's the real deal oak. So let's just get a bit of an angle on here for you to see. All mounted TV. Point, the TV is not included. <laughs> a bit of extra view from this way. Nice oak door fitted, and again, the dining room floor going through to the conservatory is a similar wood finish. So we go down here, we've got a nice cloaks loo, heated towel rail, hand wash basin, toilet, there's a storage cupboard there. So that's pretty useful. So this is the dining room but um, the conservatory on the end has been adjusted as you will see uh, the doors have been taken off the living accommodation has been opened through and the ceiling is no longer a conservatory ceiling um, so you know a lightweight roof I think they call it these days on there so now you may have noticed there's um, a failed double glazing unit there. The owners tell us this is in hand and uh, going to be replaced. Now the kitchen. All fitted with uh, high gloss white cabinets. Ceramic tile floor. Plum for washer, dishwasher. One and a half bowl sink. Some nice uh, wall tiling to go with it.
integrated fridge and freezer below. Okay. Quite a lot of wall units as you can see. A double there, double and a single, two more singles up there, drawers, corner cabinets. And they've done well, it's been designed to maximise the space. So while we're here, we'll go back this way and go out into the garden. So we've got a patio garden. Also an outside tap. Did you, did you notice that? And here we go. Now, there are actually three sheds here. I will have to check. As I understand it, they're all going to stay, but um, I don't want to mislead anybody. We would have to uh, double check on that. And this is again the, the parking area really here. So you could drive a car right down if you took that out. There's additional parking on the drive. Altogether, you'd probably get three cars in, I think. Okay. So, go back inside. And we'll go upstairs. Actually, I think we'll just come back here and we'll just have another. There, look at that. There you go, you get the idea here. That's it. So we'll go upstairs. Nice carpeting. Mm. You sink, your feet will sink into the carpeting. <laughs> so, three bedrooms. They're not huge. They're at what I think um, Rolls-Royce would call adequate. Uh, we go this way. Again, it's corner position, so you've got um, windows on two sides which makes it uh, nice and light and in here we've um, a builder's cupboard storage call it a wardrobe if you like up to yourself now the third bedroom um, mostly been filled with this huge sliding door wardrobe but uh, there is space if those aren't there to get a bed in uh, not particularly a problem, but uh, used as a study really. Come dressing room as you can see. So the landing's nice. Up there, you notice the left access. Well, there's um, a pull down uh, wooden ladder. And the loft is uh, part boarded for storage purposes. So as we go this way, we're into the bathroom. Lovely flooring. Simple enough. Blue wash basin. T bar mixer shower runs off the central heating boiler. Nice tiling and details. Right. Again, these oak doors are fitted upstairs. That's a large, large bed. I don't think there's much in it in size-wise between the two bedrooms. And again, you've got uh, walk-in storage. Now, the other storage cupboard is the other side here. If, per chance, you did want this as the main bedroom or vice versa, it would be possible to, um, say, open up this side and pinch um more more space into the bedroom if you wanted to or make them more cupboards open in this side i'm sure you know what i mean so I'll just stand back here and show you that okay view from the back there we are there's the conservatory and roof and at the back there, those houses are on High Street, and beyond that, through there, the hills, the hills, and uh, more hills, and walks, and reservoirs, and oh, everything that the area is famous for. So, whilst we've got a beautiful semi rural location, Bromley Cross train station, 
is uh, only a couple of minutes away in the car. There's good schooling up the area is popular for. The cricket club is up the road with all sorts of facilities on offer there. The Barlow Institute, bowling club, Turton Football Club. There's fishing on the reservoirs. There's a sailing club at John Bull's Country Park. Uh, there's, there's so many reasons why you would want to live in this beautiful village. Maybe I'm biased, but uh, I've lived here for, not in the house, but in the village for 35 years. And I really classify it as being like a, a mini lake district. And um, I, I can certainly recommend it to you all. There we are, so we'll pop down the stairs. Out the front door. Quick last peep at the lounge. All nice and contemporary. And there we are, back on the driveway. As I say, private driveway up to there. You did certainly get two big cars on it, three smaller ones. Lovely. Tucked away in the corner, nice and peaceful. Seven Tower Court, ladies and gentlemen. If you'd like to come and view, please don't hesitate, give us a call. We're open seven days a week and I'll be delighted to show you the property. If you'd like a valuation on your own and we can help in any way, please, again, don't hesitate to give us a call. Thank you.